First, let's start off by examining the hair growth cycle in people who don't have any hair loss disorders like chronic telogen effluvium or alopecias like alopecia areata or androgenetic alopecia, also known as male or female pattern hair loss. So the typical human hair growth cycle consists of four main phases the first phase, anagen, is the growth phase where the hair follicle actively produces hair. This phase can last from 3 to 7 years depending on genetics and other factors. About 85 to 90% of the hair on a person's scalp is in the anagen phase at any given time. The second phase, catagen, is a transitional period lasting about 2 to 3 weeks, during which the hair follicle shrinks and detaches from the dermal papilla, effectively halting hair growth. The third phase, telogen, is a resting period that lasts for about three months, during which the hair follicle remains dormant, and eventually the old hair falls out to make way for a new one to grow. Finally, the exogen phase is a significant yet often overlooked part of the human hair growth cycle. While some consider it an extension of the telogen phase, it represents a distinct phase where the shedding of old hair occurs. During exogen, the hair that has been in a resting state detaches from the scalp, falling out naturally or being aided by daily activities, like brushing or washing. The exogen phase is a normal part of the hair cycle where shedding is important. This shedding is essential for maintaining a healthy balance of hair, making room for new growth to emerge from the follicles that have been dormant. The exogen phase can vary in duration and intensity, influenced by factors such as genetics, health, hormonal changes, and stress levels. Within the exogen phase, there is a period of dormancy where the hair follicle remains inactive for some time. So we can see that shedding is normal. Let's revisit the exogen phase to understand what happens between hair shedding and the dormancy period. Our main focus will be on individuals who don't have any hair loss disorders. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, People lose 50 to 100 hairs daily, and this number may increase naturally with age. And according to the article, Telogen Effluvium, by Elizabeth C. Hughes and Dahlia Saleh in Stat Pearls, in a healthy person's scalp, about 15% of hair is in the telogen phase, while 85% is in the anagen phase. So, in people without hair loss disorders, you will observe shedding at all times as well as growth. Some hairs will grow continuously for years on end and eventually fall out after a three to seven years of this continuous growth. And after this period, a dormancy of anywhere from three to six months.